Welcome to Mama's Priceless Parties. Today, I'm going to show you how to personalize your electronic invitation for mobile devices using the Art Party theme. I'm going to start by clicking the electronic version for mobile link, which is also found in the YouTube description box. Once I click the link, a new tab will open showing the invitation that I created in Canva. We then will click Use Template, which will redirect us right into the Canva account if we're signed in. If not, Sign in now or sign up for this free, easy to use design software. It will take moments. Once you have the invitation up, then we can start editing. First, let's start by minimizing the black left box. Next, we're going to change the title of the file. So we're gonna to go to the top blue bar, click on it, and you would just use your birthday kid's name here. So in this case, I'm going to use Samantha. So Samantha's Art birthday invitation. Oh, and I missed the A there, so let's fix that. Press enter, and now you've changed the file name. Next, we're going to modify the invitation. We'll start with the name. I'm going to give you two examples today, one with a shorter name than Isabella, and one with a longer name than Isabella. So let's start off with the shorter name. So we're gonna to come to Isabella, and you'll see this purple box, that's how you know that it's highlighting the item that you want. So you want to double click on that. Now we'll use the name Mia. We're going to click off and make sure you're not hitting any of the other boxes. So just over here, I'm going to click off because I've stopped editing that name. Now I want to move and resize the name. So I'm going to click back on Mia and now I can click and drag to move it or you could use the arrow keys on your keyboard. Next, I want to resize it. So for this one, I want to make it bigger. We're going to see the circles on the four corners are how you resize it. So it shows it's highlighted. You're going to click and drag, and then you're going to make it the size that you would like. Now, in, if you make a mistake, let's say you kind of clicked and you're like, oh man, and you let go. What you can easily do is just click the undo, and it will put you right back to where you were before. Now I'm going to show you how to change it to a longer name than Isabella. So we're going to double click on Mia and I'm going to use the name Samantha. Now you'll notice that this is not even on the same line. So the first thing we need to do is click off because we stopped editing the name. Next we're going to click on Samantha. You'll see that there's this almost like rectangled, it's more of a rounded rectangle and we're going to click and drag on that, and it just extends the text box so that now Samantha is on one line. Next, we need to resize it. So we'll pick a corner, and we will make it smaller, okay? So I think that's about the right size, but now it's too close to turning. It's a bit off the page, so we're just going to oh, click and move this to where we think we would like it. And this you can play around with. So you try something out, see if you like it. You can make it bigger, smaller. And let's see, if we made this a little bit bigger, do I like that? Yeah, I think that looks great. But if not, again, you can do undo and you can go back to where it was. Or you can go to redo and say, look, I like that better. In this case, I want it actually a little bit off because I don't want it touching the eight. So maybe about there. All right, next we're going to change the number. So first we're going to click on the number and you can either use delete or backspace and just remove it. Now we're going to click, go down to the bottom of the screen and we're going to click on to page two. I've given you all the numbers for the foil balloon so it's easy to pick whatever number that your birthday is for. In this case, we're going to do 12. So we're going to click on one, shift, and hold, click on two. We're going to do control C to copy. Now we're going to go back to page one and in this I'm just going to pick one right in the middle just so that everything is visible. We're going to click on it, press control V to paste, and then click off of one and two so that they're not highlighted. Now I want to make the two closer to the one so I'm going to click on two and then using the keyboard arrows, I'm just going to move it over closer to the one so it looks more like 12. Next, I'm going to hold shift, click on one, 
And then we want to group the one and the two together to make the 12. And what the grouping does is that when they are grouped together, any modifications that you do, it does it to both. So for example, now I'm going to move it and it's going to move both of them. When I resize it, it's going to do both of them. Okay, so you get the idea. Now let's get this in the right spot. That looks about right. Now we need to rotate it. These two arrows down here is how we rotate. So we click, I'm going to move my mouse to the left. And I think that's about a good rotation. Now I think it's a bit smaller because there's two letters and, and for the mobile it's not as wide. So we're just going to play around with this till we get what we like. So we'll make that a little bit bigger, move it up and over. And now because we have moved the number down, Samantha looks a bit small. So this is when you want to actually look at the overall invitation and then make any minor modifications. It doesn't have to be exactly how I designed it. You can look at it and say, you know, I like it like this better. And then you just make that change. So in this case, I'm going to click on Samantha and I'm going to make it better so it fills up that blue banner. And I think overall, I think that looks really good. The only thing I want to do is just make that a touch smaller. And now I think that's perfect. Next, we're going to change the details at the bottom. So we're going to click on the details, but I find it a bit uh, small for me to view. So I'm going to come down and increase my zoom. And then I'll scroll down. So let's go line by line. Let's say it's October. I don't actually know which day that is, uh, day of the week, but we'll just leave the Sunday for now. Uh, let's say the time is, um, let's say 3.30 to 5 p.m. It's at Samantha's house, so let's highlight that. And you would just put in the details that are pertinent to your party. And then again, it's in October, so we want to change that as well. All right, click off. Once you're finished all the changes, then what I would suggest is zooming back out, take an overall look at the invitation. If there is anything that you want to change, do it now, okay? Now what we're going to do is we see the second part where we had the foil balloons. We don't actually need to send that to our guests. So we're going to click on the dots and we're going to remove this page. So delete page. Then when you send the invitation, it will only be the invitation. Next, you'll want to preview your invitation before sending it. You have two ways of doing this. First, the bottom left, you can click play and it will automatically play on the screen that you have on. The other option, I'm just going to pause this, is in your top right corner. There's another play button will actually take you to a black screen so you can see the overall image. At the end of the day, I've given 20 seconds for this invitation. I know it doesn't take that long for all the elements to load, but you want to give your guests time to read the whole invitation. If you want to change that, or soon close that, you can come up here to edit timing and you can adjust this either way. So again, you can do that, but I don't, I just want to leave it at the 20 seconds, so I'm going to reverse it back. Now that your invitation is complete, you're probably thinking, I haven't saved it. But that is the best part about Canva is that it saves along the way. So it's not like you forget and you close it. But if you're unsure and just want to double check, you hit file, come down, see save, and you'll see that it says all changes saved. If you still want, you could click on save just to be safe, but you don't have to. When you're ready to send your invitation to your guests, you come to the right corner and click on share. Now, it does give you the option to download this MP4 file, but when you download it, this file is 11 megabytes, which is a big file to actually send someone. What I would suggest instead is click share link to watch. This will give you a link that you can send to your guests, and when they hit that link, it will show them the invitation in Canva and they do not have to download, they don't have to um, have Canva, it just shows as a regular video. So it is very simple. Now, one thing I would strongly recommend is not just sending your guests the link, 
put something, an intro in before that. So for example, you could say, um, it's Samantha's birthday party, please click the link below to view the invitation. Just so that they don't think it's spam or some scam or something like that, they know that it's legitimate, a link that you have sent. I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial and that your invitation and party are absolutely priceless.